The Terraria 1.4 update, aka Terraria Journeys End, brought us a lot of new content. We got new bosses, NPCs, weapons, accessories, and a ton more. One thing that seems to have been skimmed over that plays a pretty big part of the update is the luck system. Master this new system and you'll be able to double item drop rates, get higher event chances, and increase your overall damage. Before we dive any deeper, all of the background footage you'll be seeing throughout this video is taken straight from our Master Mode playthrough, so if you want to check that out, I'll put a link down in the description and comments to my Let's Play channel. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you have any additional questions. The Terraria Lux system is very new, so this guide will be specifically talking about the 1.4.01 version of the game. If there are any future changes that contradict today's information, I'll try to update you guys via the comments section. I'm going to be explaining how to get positive or negative luck as well as giving you an overall idea of how it impacts your gameplay. Let's begin. So as I said before, luck is a new Terraria system that impacts well your luck. How can you see if you have good or bad luck though? Well, the game doesn't really give you a good overview unless you know exactly what to look for. That's where the wizard NPC comes in. As you probably already know, this is an NPC that can be obtained in hard mode as a rare spawn in the cavern layer or below. When talking to him, he will sometimes replace his usual dialogue with specific lines that dictate how much luck you have. Here's an example. If your luck is neutral, the guide will say one of two lines. I sense a speck of good karma about you, or I could be mistaken. Or this other line. There is something unusually warm about you. I'm not sure how to place it, but keep walking in that direction. If you have someone high luck, he can potentially say, have you a garden of four-leaf clovers? You are bursting with essences of great fortune. But beware, if you have negative luck, you'll see these type of lines. I feel a terrible fate surrounding you. You should just stay in bed today. For the full list of dialogues and what it means for your luck status, refer to the Terraria Luck Wiki article that I've linked in the description. Big thanks for the Terraria Wiki community for doing such a great job gathering all this information. I really recommend checking out the page. I'm simply giving you guys an overview. The Terraria Luck article has way more in-depth information and examples if you need it. So now that you know how to estimate your luck, how do you get positive or negative luck? Well, luck maxes out at positive of 1 and negative at 0.7. There are about 5 things you can do to affect it. The first is Ladybug Luck. A new creator released with the 1.4 update, touching a ladybug that has been released by a player, meaning simply walk over it, you'll obtain the good ladybug luck for 12 minutes and 24 minutes if it was a golden ladybug. It increases your luck by 0.3. Killing a ladybug, however, nets you a negative 0.3 luck debuff and negative 0.6 for golden ones. The next factor that determines luck is torch luck, probably the most controversial and complicated aspect of luck Pretty much, you'll get positive or negative luck depending on which torches you use and in which biome. Looking at this graph for reference, you can see which torches work the best in what biomes and which ones to avoid. Putting down and being near an ice torch in either the snow or the underground snow biome will give you a plus one to your torch score. Adding any other torches near you in a 42 block radius that doesn't match the biome will give you a negative one to your score. Keep in mind that each torch only adds the initial score, meaning having 5 biome torches near you won't increase the score past the initial buff. For example, in the jungle biome, setting down and staying near 3 jungle torches, you'll have a plus 1 score. Adding a corrupt torch at your feet alongside the jungle ones will give you a negative 1 score, leaving you with a total of 0. Keep in mind that torch score is a bit different than luck score, but pretty much the best plus luck luck you can get via this method is plus 0.2 and the worst is negative 0.4. There are a lot of specific torch examples, so refer to the wiki to learn all about it. The third method of altering luck is luck potions. Pretty self-explanatory, luck potions simply increase your luck. There are three luck potions craftable, lesser luck, luck, and greater luck potions. Make sure to fish in the desert oasis biomes if you're looking to bruise them up. Pearl materials that all these potions are made of are obtained from oysters. Luck buffs obtained this way give you a value depending on how much time is left on your buff. Greater than 5 minutes is plus 0 0.3, 
greater than three minutes is plus 0 0.2 and anything under that is 0 0.1 plus. The fourth method is lantern lights. This is a straight 0 0.3 plus to your luck as soon as it happens. This event occurs the night after you defeat a boss. They light up the night sky and last the full night. It won't start if there's a blood moon, pumpkin moon, frost moon, invasion, or any bosses active. The final luck factor comes from garden gnomes. You can obtain gnomes by finding them on the surface near living trees. They are usually enemies that move around, but in the sun they turn to stone and you're able to pick them up via mining and place them wherever you want. They have the same rage as banners and will give you a plus 0.2 to your luck. So now that you know how to increase your luck, what does it actually affect and is it worth it? Well, simply put, yes, it's really valuable and can save you a lot of time grinding for items and help out with boss battles. There are three major reasons why having luck is worth it. The first being event chances, ranging from finding NPC spawns, biomimic spawning, rare items sold by the traveling merchant and skeleton merchant, and way more. High luck means doubling this chance. For example, the highest chance a coin portal can occur after breaking a pot is 1.6%. Having luck at the maximum of 1 will increase it to 3.2%. Another example are fairies. They help you underground and can lead you to treasures. Their 2% spawn chance shoots up to 4%. The second major reason for luck is item drops. All materials will drop at double the rate including some really useful ones like hearts. Defeating enemies yield heart drops that can heal you. It can drop at the highest percent chance of 8.3%, doubling with luck to 16.6% giving you a huge edge in fights. Also, making boss grinding way more bearable, you can expect a 50% slime saddle to be given to you at a guaranteed 100% after defeating King Slime. Apply this to almost any drop and you'll see major profit. The final reason to have luck is the increase in overall damage. The way players inflict damage is as such. When attacking via swords, magic, guns, or summons, the game spits out a number depending on many different variables that are in play and all add up to a minimum or maximum damage. Weapons, accessories, buffs, banners, enemy armor, and so on can determine and greatly affect the damage outcome. Usually the game calculates all that at one time, but with high luck, the game rolls the calculation twice and only provides you with the highest of the two numbers when attacking. For example, after calculation, let's say you can have a minimum of 50 damage and maximum of 100. You roll once and maybe get 60 damage in, roll twice with luck, and that 60 has a chance to become 80 or more. Apply this to a fast weapon with high crit rates and you'll be destroying enemies and bosses like nothing. Luck is a strange feature to be added in Terraria. It's somewhat ignorable, but if you know what you're doing, you can make farming and fighting in Terraria much more pleasurable. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to check out the Terraria wiki on luck. Leave a comment below, and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see more. I hope you decide to check out my Terraria Let's Play going on on my second channel right now, and I'll see you guys next time.